I'm Oriol Esteve, I'm from Barcelona, I am 48 years old and I'm a journalist. I learned traditional models actually, the Spanish pajarita, which is very popular here, the, the, the boat from my mother, she told me and also the jumping frog and I think the jumping frog was like I don't know my video game <laughs> when I was a child is like I really enjoy very much that model it just happened that when I was like 41 or 42 I was through a hard moment in my life a little bit uh, Many, many disappointments in my professional life and these kind of issues. And I just felt that I need to do something that allow me to, to, to find me in a comfortable place and use my creativity, use my imagination. And that, that was the, the way I started to design. I met very good folders, very good uh, designers in my town in Barcelona. And through them, we just create a kind of a quick origami design group called OAS, Origami Always Succeed. And it was with them that I started to design and I started to learn how to make more difficult folds or how to, to go deep into origami. Probably the aesthetic of my models, it's quite the same from the beginning. I mean, uh, I like very much, I don't, I don't like to say cartoonish models, but models based on illustrations, models based in something that could be a painting for a child or an illustrated book for, for children, right? But not, not caricature. It's like, it's like cute maybe, or like nice. At the same time, I also like very much geometry, like tangram, like clean lines. I don't like shaping. I like the sh sharp sides. I like the edges. So I think I try to mix these two uh, views. I don't feel attracted by complex uh, origami. Maybe because I'm not able to design complex origami. But, but I'm not sure what is in the, in the first place. I, I need to go straight to the model. It's not because it's a shortcut, it's not because it's quicker, it's because you, you, you really feel an, a different energy. I really mm, realized I was growing as a designer between, in the last two years, between my first book and my second book, I really changed completely my approach. And it's something you cannot tell just by watching the models but it's on the folding. As important as the result that you get, it's important to, to enjoy while you are folding. And if I have to make a grid, if I have to make a sink, if I have to make a lot of pre-creasing, fold and unfold, I'm not enjoying it. When I felt I was able to do uh, better designs, I didn't invest that game into make it more difficult. I invest that game into make it easier to follow. The origami that um, I like it and I, I want to make is this one that it's try to be fresh every time you fold it. It's not boring. It's, you don't feel lazy to, to fold it again. When I'm completely sure the model is done, I do the, I do the diagrams. I draw the diagrams and I, I keep the diagrams. So if I want to make a book, the diagram is done and it's just you have to put them together. After the first book, I was so tired to fold models that I, I like how they look, but I didn't like actually exactly how they are folded. The, the second book was not planned. And it was not, it was not a 
continuation of first book. It was a reaction of first book. Origami is an enjoyable thing. It's not in anybody's mind. It's like we forget that it could be like um, just something wonderful to share and wonderful to learn. The thing that is pleasant to do, I think at the end is, a, is what I try to, to find because it's what I enjoy the most.